hey guys welcome back to the third and the final video tutorial of this particular series of the android sql light integration in your android application so make sure you have seen the previous two tutorials where i have initiated the initial setup of the sql data sql database for your android application then i have discussed about the dialog fragment that how you can display this kind of a uh, how you can display this kind of a form to the particular user how you will de uh, define the dialog fragment class or the new activity new class which will uh, extend the dialog fragment which will handle the activity or activity of the user on this kind of a form and how it will take the data from this particular form without moving from the activity so make sure you will see that particular videos first and then after in this video tutorial i am again talk about these all the things and i will show you that how you can update the student information how you will delete the student information from the sql database and how you will list out all the information that the information stored in the sql sql database to the particular activity so this is what uh, that we have seen in the last video tutorial the add student form is over here and the add student dialog java which is the dialog fragment class which will display when uh, which will display this particular form to the user when the user will click on the add student button and this is what the procedure that we have displayed this particular uh, dialog over here on button on the add student button click listener we have uh, created the instance of that particular class and we have displayed that particular dialog to the user so, and that will display that particular form and with the help of a single interface implementation we have handled the on click event of that particular form okay so what will happen when this uh, when the user will add this student information to the database so that is what the add student and the same procedure that we have to also uh, implement for the update student information and for the delete student information the two forms for updating the student information is over here so it will just take the id enrollment number name phone number as the particular information about the student so it will mainly take the id to get the reference in the sql database and it will update the student information so with the for uh, with this kind of a form we require again the update student update uh, student info or java class which extend the dialog fragment over here and which also contain it is same as the add student dialog so you have to define this particular class in that particular class you have to define the particular interface that is what the update student dialog listener interface is over there in that particular interface you have to define a method on update button click which will handle the update button click listener over here and whichever class is displaying that particular dialog means whichever class is displaying this dialog it should also uh, override or it should also give the implementation of this particular method that is what uh, you have to make sure by implementing the code in the on attached method okay so here is the code for that one the instance of the on student dialog listener update student dialog listener is created over here and that particular instance is used over here for the activity and if uh, the implementation is not done inside of the activity then it will just throw the new exception that the uh, particular activity class must implement the update student dialog listener so that is what the thing so what will happen when we will create uh, or create this particular dialog so on create dialog we have to just display this particular layout or uh, to the particular user so we will get the layout inflator over here and we will get the xml from the uh, layout directory so it will display that particular uh, form to the user and the on set positive button we will display the text that is what the update we will call this particular listener method the update student listener dot on update button click it will pass on this particular instance of this particular uh, dialog fragment so this is what the procedure that you have to do and the on cancel button it will just dismiss this particular dialog and the same implementation that you have to do over there in the main activity class that on the update information click uh, you have to display this particular dialog the update student info dialog will be displayed to the user and the implementation of that particular method the update student info the method that we have defined over here the on update button click that will be defined over here on save button click is there and on the update button click what will happen we will fetch the information that the user has inputted in that one we will fetch the id we will fetch the enrollment number we will fetch the name 
of the student we will fetch the phone number of the student after the validation if the all the validation are perfect then we will just pass on this particular information into the particular database handler class so what the db handler will do okay so in the db handler we have to implement uh, so let's open the db handler first so we will go for that one that is what uh, the db handler dot java is over here so in this particular class what we have to define we have to define a one particular on update method is there okay so we have to define the public boolean update student information the i have uh, set the return parameter as the boolean because uh, the whatever it has updated the value or it has not updated the value that value will be written in the format of the true and false respectively so the on average student info method will retrieve the four information or the four properties that is what the id of the student the new enrollment number new name and the new phone number the updated phone number that uh, will be passed over here it will get the student uh, sqli database instance over here it will create the again the content values with the new values and it will just fire the queries that is what the db dot update query will be fired on the particular uh, table student details it will set the argument set the parameter whatever the argument that we have used over here and for the where condition that the where this updation will be happen so for that one we will define the key id plus equal to update id so whatever update id we will retrieve over here it will check that entry into the sqli database table and it will update that student details respectively with the this particular details the new details if we have to change that particular details so it will update that particular information and it will return the value from over here if the updation is successful then it will return the true or if the uh, if the updation is unsuccessful then it will return the false over there so this way it will do this particular procedure so if the updation of this particular student detail is get confirmed then it will display that particular method okay so if the update check will get the particular true value that the student is student information is uh, updated successfully then it will give the message that the student details are updated or you can also print the message that the details are not updated very much well okay so that is what the updation procedure the same procedure that you have to follow with the help of for the delayed student information so this is what the layout for the form of the delayed student that you will display as a dialog in your to the user you will just get the id number of the student of which uh, the entry of uh, which should uh, entry of which student that you you have to delete from that particular database table so in the uh, delete student dialog you have to create uh, one separate dialog which extend the dialog pro fragment the same as the two fragment that we have created before the add student dialog and the update student info.java over here the same procedure that you have to follow you have to create an on attach method you have to create the on create dialog and you have to create an interface for handling the button click event so those things you have to implement on your own by referring the previous two classes and now in the main activity what will happen when the button delete student will be get clicked so on clicking on the delete student info we have to just display this particular dialog to the user the student will input the particular id of the student that particular entry we have to delete from the database so the implementation that we have to do the method about the interface that is the method is this one the on delete button click so it will take the id from the user so it will take the id from the form of that one it will check the id over here and it will give the proper id if the id is proper then we have to delete this particular entry from the user from the database so for that we will just pass on this particular we will uh, we will pass on this uh, we will call this particular method with the past id number to this particular dialog so we will pass on this method we will call this particular method delete student and the id of that particular student student of which entry we have to delete from the database so in the db handler class we have to display one particular method with the name of the dd uh, with the name of the delete student so that method is uh, 
uh, over here so this is what a small method is there the it will take the id as the parameter whatever id where that we will pass from the particular main activity so it will be get caught over here and we will get the student sql database instance over here and we will just call this particular method that the db dot delete table from this particular table we have to delete that entry where so for that we will just uh, key put the parameter the key underscore id equal to the delete id the id that the user has selected so it will call this particular method it will fire this query and it will delete the entry from the database so this is what uh, you can do for the deleting the entry of that particular student now the main thing that how we will retrieve the all the information about the sqlite database that all, all the entries of the student in your main activity so for that uh, you have to create a particular method that is what uh, on the show detail button is there what will happen on that one so that is what uh, the information that uh, displayed over here on the button show detail when the user will click on that one we does not have to display any dialog over here we have to just retrieve the information from the database so for that uh, i have i am going to display that in uh, that all the list of the student into the one particular text view so the text view instance the text view instance is taken over here uh, so methods are defined over there the set movement method is equal to arrow key movement method dot get instance so arrow can be momently easily and the tv student info set text equal to null it will clear the text area of that particular uh, text view some padding information is set now the list of the student equal to student list equal to db dot get all student list this is what the method which is performing on the database and retrieving me the list of the student object okay so that is what the method that we have to define in the on db handler class so this is what the method in the db handler class that you have to implement so the method is look like this one the public list it will return the list of the student so that is what the return type of this particular method and the name of the get student list so first of all define a one particular instance of the student list so that is what the list student student list the uh, list that we are going to return from over this particular method uh, one particular string for the query that select star from the particular table so it will get all the information over here then we will take the database db equal to get the writable database cursor will be at the db dot row query select query and the null so it will pass or it will execute this particular query on the particular database and it will put the cursor on the beginning of the first row from where the particular data is started for where the entry it will find find in the particular database table so here it is the iteration loop how we will uh, how we will put the information about the student into the particular list of the students so this is what the method if the cursor dot move to first that is what the cursor is moved to the first column we will do we will create a new student instance we will get the student dot set id that is what the we have to set the id of this particular instance so set id integer dot parse integer cursor dot get string zero so it will take the zeroth column and it will get the string from over here that is what the id the uh, with the help of the cursor instance we can get the particular id we will pass it to the integer and we will set the id of this particular student instance so this way we will convert we will get the enrollment number information from the column one the name from the column two and the phone number from the column three and we will set the different parameters values of this particular student instance now we have to add this particular student instance to the list of the student so that is what the student list dot add the name of the instance of the students so this way the students will be added to that particular list of the student instance and this uh, this loop will be iterated until the cursor dot move to move to the next will perform all the iteration so here the cursor will be moved to the first row of this particular table and here uh, until and unless the cursor is uh, having the next entries in the particular table it will create the student uh, 
instance it will take the information and it will put that particular object into the list of the student so the student list will be created over here and after completing this both of the loop we have to just return with this particular value of the list of the student so we will return the student list over uh, from over here and where it will be retrieved it will be retrieved in the main active uh, main activity dot java file over here that is what the student list now we have to display this particular information in the text view so for that we will iterate a for loop that is what the for loop for student std jam the student list so that is what the for all instance of the student class of the this okay. is what the object it is defined with the std for all instance of the student class in the student list we are going to create a string that is what the student detail equal to id std dot get id std dot get enrollment number get name and the last one is the get phone number and we will create a particular string with the help of the slash n and the slash t and it will append this particular string to the text view so that is what the tv stand uh, tv student text view student info dot append slash n and the std details so whatever number of entries or whatever number of uh, objects are present in that particular student list it will take the details or it will create the string of that particular student object and it will append the information into the that particular text view so this is how all the procedures will be happen so in this particular video tutorial i have described that how you can define the another two forms for the update student information and the delete student information from uh, in your android application and the another one that how you will retrieve all the information from the SQL database that will display the all the information to that particular all the information about the uh, stored student list so this is what about all of this is what about all this particular thing that how you will handle the sql like database for your entries of your data so thanks for watching this video and make sure you will watch the next video in which i will show you the execution of this particular whole practical into the emulator that how these things are working in the emulator that i will show into the next small video small video and make sure you will come again and see the uh, see the another video tutorials of the android application development thank you